Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is one of my favourite videos to film. It is a video all on my purchases from the White Company. So it's a White Company Christmas haul. I feel like every time I go into White Company, it doesn't matter what time of the year it is, I just fall in love with a million different things in there and I can't help myself. So when I took a little browse on the website the other day, I just knew that I was gonna be making a few purchases. So I thought I would share them with you today. I do have to say before we even start, one of the biggest things that I bought has not arrived, but I will just let you know what that is before we go into the video because it's one of my things I've been wanting to get from the White Company for Christmas for a number of years now and I've purchased it and unfortunately it's not going to arrive on time so I think it's coming on the 14th of November so it will arrive by Christmas but not by this video so I bought a Christmas tree I think I don't know what they call them actually they call them like bases so it goes around the bottom of your Christmas tree to hide the stand and things like that so it looks a little bit more pretty from the outside so I've purchased one of those it's a wicker I don't even know what to call it it's a, it's a wicker one and um, I will just leave a picture of it on the screen as I'm talking about it I'm sure but I am really excited for that to arrive so the other things I did buy have arrived and I am going to share them with you today can we also just say from the first first thing what is this box so when you order things from the White Company, you do expect a quality box. Look at that label. And it was wrapped so poorly, like, as you can still see the sellotape, it's disgusting. It, it's disgusting because it's like half sticky now and a bit gross and yeah it's, it's just not what I would expect from the white company so I was a little bit disappointed I have to say I actually questioned whether someone had been in my box before I got it and rummaged through the things that I purchased and even the box is falling apart as I lift it I can only assume that they have a huge number of orders and they've run out of their normal boxes because you do you normally get the lovely branded white company box when you purchase but Actually, one of my friends said he got the same thing when he placed an order. So, let's just ignore the box and the packaging. So, my first purchase I'm going to share with you is something I'm actually very, very excited about. This is reflecting the light quite a lot. It is the winter scented ceramic bell decorations. So, these are little things to hang on a tree or a decoration but you spray it with the winter scent and the winter scent is my ultimate favorite white company scent and it just makes then your room smell nice and these are really really cute can i show you without giving you too much of a flashback get the idea maybe from here <laughs> um i can even smell it through the box so the winter scent for those of you that don't know is cinnamon clove and orange and honestly it's such a wintry scent i just love it it's spicy it's a spicy warm scent is how they describe it on the box and i would very much agree with that yep it allows you to refresh the scent of each bell throughout the season how lovely. I'm really, really excited about this. I'm actually going to be putting it into our, um, on our hallway, I do a, I feel like I've forgotten all my words today. I'm going to have to look this up. I've got it. I've got it. I didn't even need to look it up. So I have a garland that I like to decorate in our hallway. So it's across a little table and this year I'm going with a white and silver theme so I'm looking for decorations that go with that so these fit in perfectly and it'll make the hallway and the lead up to our master bedroom smell divine with the scent that I can refresh throughout the season so I'm really excited about that one next up is something along the same lines it's going on the exact same garland and it is this I'm going to take it out of the package I haven't even opened it yet is this little wish decoration and it is so cute it's really small again can you see that really small little beads clear beads with the grey hanger 
how much was this? This was eight pounds and I'm not mad about eight pounds. I would say the same thing happened again. So the last time I filmed a haul from the White Company, I bought a few things, I bought some storage bits and things like that. And then the very next day that I got the package and received all my items, I then got the catalogue for either that season or that month. It must have been for that season. And it had a 15% off code in it. I think the last one had like 20% off. But this one, same thing happened. I've got 15% off now. And I've done my little shopping for my Christmas decks. And actually, now I've got that discount, I feel like there's probably a few more bits that I want to get. I might just have to do another little splurge on that website because I just love all white company things and maybe make a few Christmas purchases on there as well. So that's really cute. I've picked up this. This is actually, there's four of them that I've bought and they're going everywhere. Like the entire box and the paper and everything that they're wrapped in is covered in glitter. Like it's actually ridiculous. So these are really cute little acorn glitter decorations. These are mini glass pine cones and, oh I said acorns, they're not acorns, they're, they're pine cones. And they're four pound each. I have seen them on the website all styled up. Use it as like a placeholder on the Christmas table instead of hanging it on the tree and it's a really nice kind of alternative thing to do and I guess when I'm waiting for that moment where we're actually allow people round and be able to cook a Christmas dinner, I will actually again decorate the garland with them. So as I said, I've got four of these. I just think they'll look so nice on the dinner table as well as a place setting. So I'm, I think maybe they're a little bit expensive. They are glass though, but I was pleased in that big box that they didn't smash. So they managed to make it successfully here. So I'm, I'm definitely not getting rid of them and they're molting everywhere already. And then it wouldn't really be Christmas without some wrapping paper. Oh, I've just, I've looked at my lap and I'm covered in glitter. <laughs> that was from about two minutes of holding that decoration. Onto the wrapping paper. I have this year gone for a grey wrapping paper. I did actually last year go for a brown, just like a brown paper and then I jazzed it up with bows and things like that. The reason I went for brown paper last year actually is because I wanted to make sure that the paper could be recycled and I've noticed on the website when I was doing my little order that it says all of the white company wrapping paper is now fully recyclable. That was enough to convert me really. So I'm just checking the quality and thickness of the paper. It is really nice quality. You know sometimes you pay a lot for like wrapping paper and then the sellotape doesn't even stick it down. I think that's when you realise you've either spent way too much on wrapping paper or it's just not meant to be. <laughs> anyway, this looks like great quality and I think it will be stuck down. So this is five metres, so I should be able to get the majority of my presents done. I don't have too many presents or people to buy for. Um, but I just think that will look really nice and then I could still get some ribbon, bows, name tags to go with it. And I'm really excited about that one as well. So they are all my purchases. As I mentioned, I did buy the Christmas tree bottom. I don't know what they call it. I will link everything I've mentioned today in the description below and I hope it's given you a couple of ideas. I just want to mention this is my favourite candle which is something I already have and I bought the White Company lid for it as well but I actually don't really like putting the lid on it because I really love it when our bathroom which is where this candle lives smells like winter. Let me know if there's any other scents that you would recommend I have heard that Fireside is meant to be lovely, but I have not smelt it myself, so I do actually need to go in store and, and maybe give that one a smell once the shop's open again. But I hope you've enjoyed that short little haul. And of course, when I do decorate for Christmas, which I'm not doing just yet, I'm gonna wait till the 1st of December, I will then show you all of our Christmas decorations and I'm sure if there was a thing as smell vision then you would really appreciate the smell of all the white company scents that I'm going to be dowsing everything in. Thank you so much for watching. I do post on a Wednesday and a Friday, so my next video will be up on a Friday. And if you're not subscribed, please do hit the subscribe button. I would love to have you following along. And I will see you again really soon. Bye.